I thought I'd take this time to make a quick little video about how to make uh, a sheath for a hatchet. Um, I've had this one for a couple of years now and it's, it still maintains its, its nice sharp edge but it gets knocked about, it gets uh, chipped and I haven't been able to find a sheath for it that isn't uh, already coming with another forest uh, hatchet or, or an axe. So I thought I would uh, try and make one myself. Um, it's very difficult to find proper leather without spending quite a lot of money so uh, I went to a fabric shop and they sell some of this which is uh, basically the tablecloth protector. Um, it's leatherette so it's not, not particularly strong but uh, I reckon it would it would do the job sort of on a temporary basis. Um, I also picked up some eyelets. Oh, light's not too good, and it's backwards. Never mind. Um, trust me that they're they're eyelets, um, and they come with sort of these little things like that, um, and some washers. Oh, this one. Uh, little washers. Uh, so uh, I decided that would probably do the job of fixing them, uh, sort of in a replacement of a rivet. I could have got rivets, but again, they would have been quite expensive. So the first thing that we need to do is to measure the size of the material that we need to use. Okay. Now I'd suggest doing it so that the fixings are at the front. That's better. So the fixings are at the front and then you have a fold over at the top. So then we put the eyelets to join along this edge and along the bottom and then one at the back then to uh, tie your, your, eyelet, your uh, sheath together to, to stop it from falling out. So let's, let's just measure that. So now this piece is, is actually the right size. I'll try and put it down. Um, and you can see I've started to put the eyelets in. They're very basic. Uh, the washer goes on this side. The neat side pushes through. And then you tap them with a hammer and a, a special flanging tool. Like this. Um, which then splits out the edge of the eyelet and uh, and causes it to to grip onto the the material. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that nail is marking the place where the hole is. So now I'm ready to flange oil it to the washer. Uh, have it there. So it, oil it's gone through the material. Fiddly little things. Uh, then the washer goes over the top uh, so the material is trapped between them and then you give it about a, a bit of a bash. Obviously harder than that. Well, you get the picture. Um, can't do it one handed and then once you've done that you can see the washer now I'm getting focus the washer is now attached with this sort of flanged edge from the eyelet where that's been pushed apart by this flanging tool Okay, now I'll just keep going. So this is completed then. I've got these rivets which can t uh, keep the material together and then there's two extras on the back that will keep it as a, a tie system that keeps the axe inside the sheath. This is actually the second one I've done. The first one um, I took a bit more time over. Um, 
and I'd put some more of these eyelets through at the front and the bottom and then join them more for decoration than anything with garden twine um, and brought these back as a tie system that's a slip knot there it means that I can put the axe in and then tie this up tighten it rather to stop the, uh, the axe from, from falling out with this one I, I did make some alterations uh, I found that on the, the first one having only one thickness meant that the washers were quite loose uh, due to the design of the eyelets so on this one I've folded these over um, to give it a bit more stability I'll do the same job though okay well thanks for watching my first uh, bushcraft actually bushcraft based video and hopefully I'll see you soon for another one